We're here with USC Upstate head softball coach Chris Hawkins, uh, coaching your 19th year coaching softball uh, here at Upstate, and that's your entire career here spent at Upstate. Um, you looking forward to this year with, with the team that you have back on the field? Yeah, I had a lot of freshmen last year, actually six or seven starting at once. So to get the collegiate game experience that they have gotten and come back their sophomore year, it's a little more easy, not as nerve-wracking, knowing that they know the plays, the signs, the backups, priorities, zones, everything about our program. So you can set a little easier on the side knowing that they're not really going to screw up a whole lot, hopefully. Yeah, you talk about the, the amount of freshmen you had on the team last year. Obviously, last year with only two returning uh, starters on last year's team, a very inexperienced team. All those freshmen got to play a ton last year. This year, uh, even though just sophomores, they're still going to be veterans uh, to go along with already some of the juniors and seniors you have in the, in the on the team as well. Yeah, um, you know our whole infield sophomores. Um, you know we've picked up a couple of pitchers to come in with with what Hannah's done for us, which is amazing uh, to kind of solidify that spot as well. Uh, some key backup people that has come in, and some others that's going to come right in and play. That's that's really going to help us out a lot. And um, we're not making too big of a deal out of it. We got to go out and do the things that that we did last year and do them a little bit better this year, just to have a chance of winning as many games as we did last year. Uh, you talk about how tough the competition is going to be. Obviously, the Atlantic Sun Conference is a very tough league. Finished third last year, picked to finish third again this year. Um, but you do have uh, three players uh, that have received quite a bit of, of recognition. And Shelly Robinson, who was last year's ASUN Freshman of the Year, she's a preseason all-conference pick. Uh, Hannah Alexander, who you've already talked about a little bit. Um, as the ace of the staff, she was an all-conference selection. And then Cheyenne Griffin, who was an all-conference selection last year as well. How, how much are you going to rely on those three players and others uh, for this season? Well, you know, as far as preseason conference things, they're going basically off last year. And, and I really hope they can do what they did last year. I mean, they were phenomenal. Uh, you know, they played at a high level all year long, but it's very hard to, to duplicate that over and over and over. But, you know, with them playing consistent, hopefully like they will do with some of the other ones that's, that's coming in as well, uh, I think we have a, a better opportunity uh, to do extremely well in the conference tournament and hopefully maybe get to postseason. Talk about some of the new players coming in. You have a couple of junior college transfers who play the college of Siskiyou's, um, had a tremendous uh, college career in junior college out in California uh, in Anna Miller and, and Meredith Barnes. Um, you also have uh, several freshmen who are coming in you think could uh, make an impact as well. Uh, yes, uh, Anna and Meredith come from Siskiyou's, which last year uh, Anna – was the player of the year in California as a pitcher, and they won, They lost in the uh, championship game. Um, Meredith had played the year before and is here now, and, and uh, she's she's a real good outfielder, uh, very experienced as well. Our freshmen are, are just real, real good players that's going to be able to come in from time to time and help us out, and hopefully as the season goes on, we will count on them more and more. We know that the young players played a key role in the team uh, success last year. But you also have a player behind the plate who's been behind the plate for four years now, and Erica Harris. Talk about her leadership and what she brings to the team. Erica's basically a coach on the field. She knows everything there is to know about upstate softball, and she's went through every time where it be good or bad. So she's out there with a wealth of knowledge to help them and, and work from the inside out to keep our, our team pretty strong. And, and I think she's going to have a phenomenal year. She's hitting better than just this about anybody right now. Um, clearly, the Atlantic Sun Conference is going to be a very difficult uh, schedule of games to play, and, and competition is going to be very stiff. Non-conference-wise, you've really worked uh, to improve the strength of schedule non-conference. Uh, nationally ranked teams like Florida, North Carolina, Georgia on the schedule, NC State's on there, Kentucky's coming down to play in a tournament in a couple weeks, um, not to mention the other regional games against, against other uh, – opponents got to be looking forward to playing a stiff competition but it's also going to be a quite a challenge yeah I mean you know don't get me wrong winning 40 games in any level is good but you know I'm looking at all the teams in, our, in the Atlantic Sun Conference that are going on to play in the regionals and you know they have 32 and 24 records 35 and 28 records things like that and and they've went through the season playing these type of opponents, whether they might win or lose, it definitely helps them down the stretch. So, you know, I, I'm kind of buying into that. And, you know, if we beat these teams, fine. If we don't, we're getting a lot of experience that's going to hopefully our ultimate goal is to win the Atlantic Sun Championship and go into postseason. 
And how about the win last year against number 23 Syracuse down at uh, South Florida's tournament? Um, do you think that experience in beating a nationally ranked team is going to help when you face so many ranked teams this year? I, I don't think our, our girls are worried about who's wearing the other uniform. I, I think it's more about them doing their job at the highest level they possibly can and, and, and let it fall where it falls. I mean, when we play those teams, oh, we can match up with them, but they're able to make a few more mistakes than we are and still win. And, and uh, that's just something we got to limit our ability of, um, of messing up and, and staying solid through a game and have a chance of beating some of those teams. What do you like about your team heading into this weekend? Well. Um, all of them are awesome kids. There's really no problems. Everyone go to class. They do the things they're supposed to do. Uh, it's When they all come out here, it's every one of them. It's just so fun to be around, and, and they have a good team unity. And, and, it, and we're just looking forward to playing somebody other than us. We played ourselves so many times now that anybody in a uniform on the other side will be appreciated. All right, Coach. Well, best of luck this year, best of luck this weekend coming up to start the season, and thanks for taking out the time uh, to spend with us. Thank you. We're here with Cheyenne Griffin, the starting first baseman for the USCF State softball team. Uh, obviously, the team's getting ready to, to get the season underway this weekend with the tournament here at Surreal Stadium. Um, how excited are you about getting the season underway? Oh, there's no words to explain it. Um, we have a good group of girls this season, and um, we're all excited. These past couple of weeks, we've been working hard during practices, um, going harder than ever, pretty much. You represent a, a whole slew of, of team members on the team that, that were freshmen last year who got a lot of experience playing. Um, you started every game at first base last year. Um, you were a first team all-conference selection, a unanimous selection in the ASUN last year. How do you think the experience of that core group of players who are coming back this year is going to benefit the team? Um, well, I know that our group um, that came in last Last year is a group of leaders and um, a group that's going to um, contribute to um, our success as well as everybody, especially the freshmen too. Um, but I think that um, our group is just going to lead and help in every way possible. You also have a couple of, of players on the team, Hannah Alexander who's a junior pitcher and Erica Harris who's been a starter at behind the plate since her freshman year. She's a senior. What do those two players uh, bring to the team as far as leadership? Um, they bring role model um, aspects. I know that I look up to them as well as everybody else. Um, they mean a lot to us because they're always there for us, but um, in other aspects they're there as success, at, as success and helpful. Okay, well Cheyenne, thank you for taking the time out to talk with us today and best of luck this season. Thank you.